Alrighty, so today what we are going to do is we are going to see what the difference is between the Makita brushless impact that is variable trigger only compared to the Makita that has a speed selection with a variable trigger. So this is going to be a good one. My Home Depot never sold this one in store. They finally had it in. So I actually went to Home Depot today. I got a couple of items and this is one of them. So they actually had this Makita impact driver in stock in the store instead of online only. So I had to get it. So this is going to be a good one. I was always curious what the difference is between the very trigger only and the one with the speed selection. When it comes to Makita, you got to be careful which model you get because Makita is one of the ones that were the, the tool, the visual of the tool do, doesn't really change too much to know what the difference is. You'll actually have to look all at the tool to make sure you get a certain model because they make about five different versions of this impact driver. They also have uh, have one that I saw in the catalog that has a four speed selection. And that one looks a little bit beefier than these ones. So I do not think that this is the most powerful impact driver they got. Now they also have two others that have the glow in the dark ring around it. So I do not know which one's more powerful. I will be getting those in the future. But today's video is going to be the Variable trigger only uh, against the speed setting one. So for the one that's variable trigger only, this is the model number is XD, uh, XDT13. It is 0 to 3400 impacts per minute and, uh, sorry, 0 to 3400 RPM and 0 to 3600 impacts per minute. And so, yeah, I do not know what the torque is. If I can find the torque, I'll put it in right now. But yeah, as you can see on the base, there are no speed settings. This is variable trigger only. The back does not have a separate uh, little casing. It's all, uh, it's a half clamshell. It does have an LED light on the bottom, a twin LED light, variable trigger only. We will we'll be using a three amp hour battery for this and the battery is full. All right, so the the one I just got, the Makita quarter inch hex impact is model number XTT14. It's a speed selection. The first speed is zero to 1100 RPMs. Speed two, zero to 2100 RPMs. And on speed three, zero to 3600 RPMs. And this goes from, uh, for with beats per minute, it goes zero to 1100, zero to 2600 and zero to 3800. That's actually a lot of impacts per minute uh, for a quarter inch hex impact, 3,800 impacts per minute. That's awesome. All right. It has a, uh, same thing, double, uh, LED light, uh, underneath the, the collet. It also has a variable trigger. So yes, the, we're going to be using a three amp hour battery for this and the battery is full. Remember when you work for gloves and safety glasses, I got mine right here. So we're going to test out some Timberlocks. Specs and a couple of lags. A tool only for this one's 130, 140, I believe. All right, is the collet push in for the variable trigger? Yes, it is. For the speed selected one? Yes, it is. They both are push in collets, which is good. We're gonna do the, the T13 first. That right here is good. We're gonna follow the same ring. All right, so ready, go. Time. Do one more. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, we have the speed on high. Speed is on high. Of course, like I said, both batteries are full, three amp hour batteries. Ready, go. Time. You know, there doesn't seem to be that much of a difference. All right, so ready, go. Makita's impacts are quiet. This is actually a little quiet. It's not, it's not that loud at all. All right, so what we are gonna do is we are gonna take them out both at a time, I'm gonna stop the clock as soon as I take one out and I'll restart it when I go to the next one. All right, so 
Ready? Go. Time. All right, it is Makita's, the other one next. All right, so ready, go. Time. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. It is time for the specs. Variable trigger first. All right, we're only gonna do one each. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, so let's take it out. Ready, go. And so ready, go. Time. Wow, this one does seem faster. It does. It, you can tell that it's a. Uh, there's a little bit more wind in the motor. It seems faster, but I do not know the results until I edit the video. All right, so now what we're gonna do is I, I'm continuing to use the Husky socket adapter, half inch to a quarter inch hex with Tech Life impact rated sockets. These sockets are actually phenomenal. All right, so we're, we are gonna do the variable trigger only first. Uh, four inch lag, let's see what this can do. Do it right here. All right, so ready, go. Time. Let's do the next one. All right, so a little bit closer. There we go. All right, so ready, go. You know what, let's do a six inch too. Let's do a six inch. Got two six inches right here. Uh, right here should be okay. All right, so ready, go. Time for the next one. Right here should be good. All right, so ready, go. Wow. I don't know. All right, now what we are gonna do is we are gonna take a four inch out and then a six inch out at the same time. I'm gonna stop the clock for when I go from one lag to the next. And we're gonna continue as soon as I start taking the next one out. All right, so ready? Up oh, the battery, by the way. Is it, This one's at three bars. All right, so ready? Go. Let's do a quick temperature reading. 92 degrees. Got up to 92 degrees. All right, so 
Take the four inch out first, then the six inch. All right, so ready, go. Time. And the temperature for the, for the T14, 97 degrees. And they both have three bars left. So they used the efficient, they used energy uh, just like the other one would. Three bars are left. I will say the model with the speed selection, the anvil was skipping a lot more than the one with the variable trigger. So like I said, I do not know what the results are. The results uh, are found out while I edit the video. All right, so there is a huge benefit of having a speed selection on your impact driver because you could do it a little bit more precise. You don't have to just worry if it goes too far or if it doesn't. So it'll go slower with the speed selection and you still have the option to go very fast if you want. All right, so please like this video if you found the information I just gave you very useful to help you make your purchase. Uh, and also hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And also subscribe to the channel. I could uh, inform you on many tools. I have 340 something videos since this video. And so yeah, this, uh, this channel is just getting started. I love doing, I love making these videos. So, so this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.